Good morning and welcome to the University of Montana and the MCTM State Math Contest. My name is Matt Roscoe. I'm a professor in the Department of Mathematical Sciences here at UM and I will be in charge of scoring all of your answer sheets this morning. So I would like to spend a little bit of time uh, helping you understand how to correctly fill out an answer sheet so that my job is just a little bit easier. But before we get started, let's have a joke. A shepherd gets his talking sheepdog to herd a flock of sheep into a pen. How many sheep were there? asks the shepherd. Forty, says the dog. I only count thirty-six, says the shepherd. How did the dog reply? I know, but I rounded them up. Okay, well today uh, when you come to the competition you'll be handed a schedule and that schedule tells you where to be at what time in order to take which test. Um, the schedule also has your name on it, your grade, the all-important six-digit ID number, uh, your school name and your team name for your team at your school. For purposes of this <clears throat> demonstration I gave myself a break in round one so I'll be looking at round two where I'm taking the advanced test That'll be taken at table 11 in the ballroom, so that's where I would need to be from 10.15 to 10.45 to participate. Okay, uh, when you uh, start any one of the competitions, you'll be given a answer sheet. This is what the answer sheet looks like. You'll have one answer sheet per competition. Uh, this is what it should look like at the end when you are done with the test and ready to hand it in. Let's take a look at each of the components of the answer sheet one by one. So the first thing we'll look at is, is, is this blue area at the top of the answer sheet. As you can see in that area, what you're going to be asked for are the information uh, including your name, grade, school, team name, the test that you're taking, and the round you're taking it in. Really important here is that you make sure and put the test down here because if we don't know which test, uh, if we don't know which test you're taking, then we don't know which key to apply it to uh, apply to it. So make sure that you get the, the name of the test right in this particular block. Okay, after you fill out the blue area, I would encourage you then to fill out the pink area in the lower right hand corner of the answer sheet. Let's take a closer look there. As you can see, this is where you put your ID number. This is a unique six, six digit number that identifies you in the process of scoring. So it's really important that you get this right. Otherwise, we won't know uh, uh, which scores to give to which uh, uh, participant. So make sure that you fill out both the six digits across the top and then bubble in below each digit the correct digit in the uh, um, among the ten pot potential digits. So for example here the five I would put a five directly below it. For example here the seven I would bubble in the seven directly below it. Lastly uh, the green portion of this sheet here where I have the green rectangle drawn is where you put the answers for the competition. As you'll notice, the answers are horizontally written. So for problem number one, I answered B. For problem number seven, I answered C. For problem number 13, I answered D. One thing you'll notice is that there is no uh, um, answers here in this region given, and that's because the advanced test only had 22 questions to answer. So if any particular test you take has um, less than 25 questions, you just simply leave those rows blank. Okay, I think that's about it. Good luck and have fun.